Hey, what's up guys? Your boy is Pilot2K7 and I'm back for a brand new Grand Theft Auto 5 real life mod video. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day and I appreciate you guys for checking out today's video. So as you can see, we're at our city location for our tow company, Ace Towing, and we're actually going to do a couple of cool things today, guys. So first thing first, I'm going to show you guys a new tow truck. I know we have been literally getting new trucks like every single day of the week this week. It has been crazy. And um, second, we're actually going to drop off a uh, trailer as well because we have one of the Kenworth heavy duty wreckers actually just towed in a semi truck and trailer is actually parked out over there. So we're going to go grab that once we are done over here. So let's head out into the yard. You guys can see the yard is kind of empty right now. You guys already know most of the uh, light duty trucks are out. So like the F-550s and the rollbacks are all, mostly all out on calls right now. So our newest truck that's in the game right now, guys, is going to be this Freightliner M2 tow truck wrecker. Go ahead and take a look at this, guys. This is going to be by ISG Mods. Um, shout out to Mosco for this one. This is another awesome model. And probably the first thing you guys are going to uh notice is that it does have red and blue lighting up front as well so we can now respond emergency mode to calls if we get authorization from the uh local law enforcement obviously fun fact um i know in missouri i believe um, if you guys know ron pratt with midwest towing um in missouri they actually are emergency vehicles and when the police call them and give them permission they can respond with lights and sirens so if you guys would like to check that out uh, definitely check out Ron Pratt to see some of his Code 3 responses. But anyway, this tow truck looks awesome. It has a lot of cool features of it from 360 degrees scene lighting, which I will show you guys as well. We're able to really light up the road really well with this truck. And um, yeah, we're going to have some fun. It can also do other things such as towing regular vehicles. So we could use it for light duty. We could use it for medium duty. We could tow a semi with this. We could even tow trailers as well, which is what we're going to be doing today. So let's go ahead and hop into the new truck. Uh, let's go ahead and get it unfrozen there. Also, if you guys look in the background, we also have the other Freightliner. We got it back from Harrison. He actually got both of these done and um, he skinned these up. So shout out to Skinworks for the awesome skins on both vehicles. If you guys remember before, the other truck was just all red. Now we got it back and it has been painted and skinned up. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this, guys. I'm just going to show you guys how this works really quickly before we head out and uh, do this tow. So if you open up your trunk, that will lower down your arm, as you can see. If you go into your extras, cool thing you could do here, if you go to component number one, it actually adds on a trailer hitch there so that allows us to pull pretty much any type of trailer that we have to connect to so uh, that's going to be pretty cool and uh, let me show you how the lighting works so like say extra three let me just turn off the uh, yellow lights so you guys can probably see it a little bit better here there we go all right so extra three i can't even see where we're at Okay, extra three is going to be these lights back here on the light bar. It's kind of hard to see, but I'll show you guys at night so you can see it a little better at the end of the episode. Extra four puts on this light right here, so that lights up your left side. And extra five would right up, light up your right side there. So at night, this is really cool. It has um, really good lighting. You're able to just see um, all, different, all the different sides of you, and you can really see what's going on. All right, so let's put the yellow lights back on and let's put the arm back down since we're about to use that all right so let's head out guys and let's see what type of semi truck just came into the shop one of our guys actually oh we can actually see it right over there so heavy number three just came in with a semi truck and trailer I'm not sure what happened to the truck, but apparently it broke down. So we're going to bring the semi truck inside so we could try to get it fixed. And then I'm going to go drop off the trailer since the customer definitely does need it to be delivered today. And it has food products in it as well. So we don't want that to just be sitting around with food inside that is spoiling it, you know. So let's. Oh, it's tight. It is tight. I should have went the other way, actually. All right, let me just spin this around. Oh, 
Oh, that's a nice interior, too. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to use the Kenworth to bring the semi-truck inside. Hey! One cool thing about working by the airport. Okay, so we're going to use the Kenworth here to bring this. Oh, they're both Kenworths. To bring this inside. So first thing I'm going to do is just release that trailer. Oh. Didn't think that was going to happen. Probably should have lowered it down a bit. Alright, so let's use this Kenworth to take this inside. So the Kenworth is also by ISG Mods as well. And um, all of the mods I'm using today, I will link them in the video description. In case you guys would like to check them out for yourselves. Am I going to be able to cut this turn? It's kind of hard to get into this shop here. Okay, let's start over. The dirt doesn't really help either because we all we're always slipping and sliding on the dirt here. Alright, so that was a little bit of a pain, but we were able to get it in here. That's as close as we're going to get it for now. So let's go ahead and take heavy number three outside. Normally three. Um, and if you guys don't know why I'm calling it heavy number three, that's the life some plate as well. Uh, the Peterbilt is heavy one. The larger Kenworth is heavy two. And then this one here is heavy number three. So let's park this one up out here. We're not going to really need it for the rest of the day. Okay, perfect. So this could stay right here. And let's go grab the new truck now. So, like I said, the semi truck broke down. That's going to stay here and try to get fixed. And we're going to use the new freight liner to go drop off that trailer. And it should be fun because this is also the first time that we're ever really towing a trailer as well. So, this should be interesting. Alright, so here you guys can see a really good look at the hitch attachment here. So we got that ready to go, and we're going to connect that to the trailer. good and it's right up in there perfect so we're gonna run our airlines from back here and we'll run that to the trailer that way we're able to use the trailer brake so we have extra stopping power and of course we'll throw in all of our chains to make sure it is safe just in case it breaks away and we are good to go all right so i'm just gonna lower it a bit there we go. Alright, let's uh, head out.
All right, that looks really cool so far. So if you guys are enjoying the episode, you guys are enjoying all of these awesome mods up until this point, do me a favor. Go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification button so you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video here. And let's get going. So we're going to be heading to the Up and Atom, Up in uh, like Upper Vinewood. I don't really know where it's at. I know where it's at, but I don't really know exactly where it's at. So we're just going to head up to the street that it's on, and then we'll just figure it out as we go along. Every single time. <laughs> About to get hit by a pursuit. All right, let's head out. So this truck could obviously tow uh, almost anything we needed to tow for the most part. Obviously, it can't really tow like a fully loaded truck and trailer, but um, if it has like a semi truck with an empty trailer, it could, it could handle that. If it has just a semi truck, if it has like a 53 foot trailer, it could handle all of that. So it's going to be a pretty versatile truck. Plus, like I said, it could also handle the light duty stuff as well. So it's a good in between truck that could respond to a variety of jobs. Make sure we don't have it up too high. We don't want to hit these poles. Damn, my horn kind of sounds better than his. Oh, you know what guys I just remembered I forgot to show you guys a couple things so this truck also has compartments so like that door right there could open and one door on this side could also open as well as the cool controls there as well so I'll show you guys that uh, once we stop let's let the time cycle as well so it'll be nighttime by the time we're on our way back to the shop and then you guys can see the uh, 360 degree lighting
All right, so we're almost here. I know it's on this street up here, but I don't remember where it is. I think it's to the right. Or is it to the left? I'm gonna try, I feel like it's to the left now. I'm gonna try to right though. Let's see if we can find this up and at them so we could deliver this stuff. Okay, yeah, I think we got it right. That should be it right up there. Yep, we made it. Okay, so... Where would they want this at? We can't take it to the drive-thru, so maybe they're gonna have to load it over on this side. They don't really have like a loading dock or anything here, so they, they probably just have to load it from the street. Oh, they have a parking lot. You know what? Maybe they want us to put it in the parking lot. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. Okay, so I see why they use these uh, shorter trailers here because if you try to get like a 48 or 53 foot in here, it would definitely be a challenge. No, there's no way we could cut this turn actually. Uh, see, I was going to put it like over here somewhere, but. We ain't making this turn, so what we'll do, we'll just back it up here and Maybe we could back it all the way in, actually. I'm still not gonna be able to get around, but we'll just put it up. Oh shoot! <laughs> we'll just put it up over here, and I guess they just gotta do whatever they have to do. See, I feel bad because we're blocking the driveway, but I really don't know where else to put it. Okay, so the only other place where it wouldn't block too much, I mean, it's going to block the exit, but you could kind of just exit through the entrance is if we just park it right here. It's going to block the side away a bit, too. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. Like, where would you guys put it? It's, Kind of, no matter where we put it, it's kind of just screwed, really. I'm just going to go back to putting it over here. After all that work, we're just going to put it back where we were going to originally put it. So we'll park it right here, and then I'll just have to send a semi-check to come pick it up later. It's going to be in the street, but it's just the best that we could do, honestly. We tried. 
Okay, so let's take a look at the first door size. You can see we have some chains. We have our air hoses. It looks like we have a bucket and sponges. And then if we go come around to the other side, uh, we have our toolbox and yep, just looks like our toolbox. We have, oh, we have our air compressor right there as well. So very, very cool. So let me know what you guys think about that. That will definitely help out with RP role playing, of course. Um, definitely a multiplayer as well. You're able to kind of just role play as you're going along. And then the next cool thing, if we actually make it nighttime, so let's make it nighttime and let's take a look at the scene lighting again. So I'm gonna put that back up. Okay, so uh, let's do this. So number three is gonna light up the right side. Number four is gonna light up the. I'm gonna actually just turn off the amber so you guys can see it a little bit a bit better. So, I'm sorry, three lights up the rear lights. So you got the rear scene lighting. Uh, four lights up the left. And five would light up the right. So let's hop out and take a look. And you guys can see how it just provides you with so much light here. Sorry, let me just fix this. There we go. So now we have our 360 degrees of lighting and it pretty much lights up the whole area. So definitely help out again when you're role playing at night, you're on, a, you're on scene of an accident or you're just working on the side of the road. It gives you a little bit of light to work with. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. You guys enjoyed the truck. Definitely let me know if you guys would like to use it again. I have a lot of ideas of things I want to do with this truck. We could uh, tell some box trucks, some semis. We could do more trailers. So let me know what you guys would like to see in the next episode. And um, if you did not already, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below if you're new. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. That way you'll never miss an episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one.